Juba is gearing up for a new look, one that would probably transform the face of the city into a modern metropolis. The idea of electricity to power the country was first conceived when the government of South Sudan contracted a Norwegian company to construct a hydroelectric power plant dubbed as Fula Dam at the border town of Nimule in 2012 with funding from Africa Development Bank. The idea of constructing a mega electric project was later called off as a result of the country's political crisis and the funding by Africa Development Bank withdrawn. Options such as acquiring electricity from the neighboring countries, investing in green energy like solar and winds, as well as construction of smaller dams were also raised as an alternative to the mega project. The government's commitment to provide electricity to the people of South Sudan remained intact, leading to the construction of an alternative diesel-fired power plant project to support the existing Juba power station with hopes of lighting up the national capital city. As a result, the government of South Sudan, through the Ministry of Energy and Dams, contracted ISRA Company alongside Power China to construct a power generation and distribution respectively. In 2018, Vice President Dr. James Wani Iga launched the construction of a 100 megawatts power station in Gumbo, which is undertaken by ISRA Power Group of Companies. Simultaneously, at the same time, Dr. Iga also inaugurated the construction of electric poles, a project fully funded by the government and implemented by Power China. Speaking at the launch of the two projects, senior government officials stressed the importance of electricity to the development of the nation. As we enjoy consuming this electricity generated by this company, we should not fall short any time of our long dream to construct a dam, as I pointed out the other day. We should not think that this is everything. We must do much more and dream much more. And operate hydropower that reaches many states, Walayat, and the remotest areas of South Sudan. Akbar Tabarro Alinto Amalto, they here Amni Fijuma. Nanu Juba Haikun Bikun Manar Haikun Fi Kahraba Udahaja Kabir. According to the Minister of Energy and Dams, Dr. Dio Matok, the two projects are highly expected to provide sufficient electricity supply to Juba City and its suburb, as well as surrounding villages, once completed in the scheduled time frame of June 30th, 2019. This work is supposed to, uh, to be handed over in uh, in, uh, in in June, and we were planning that early July uh, the power should be there, so that uh, it they will go uh, in the Independent Day. This is what we 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 plan, uh, and we are now moving in this direction. That is why we intensified our supervision for these projects. Uh, I am very confident about the uh, power generation the other side of the river because already now the foundation for the towers crossing the river have started already uh, and I believe that uh, at least uh, 30 something megawatt will be ready by that time because they are ahead but we are much uh, worried about the uh, distribution uh, project because the, the volume of work which is need to be done is very huge. Uh, last week uh, uh, I was uh, in a field visit. I, I, I managed to actually to evaluate the work which is, is still being done. Uh, but I believe that if they increase the, the work and intensify it like uh, what they are doing now, we can be able to catch up within the specified time. The manager of ISRA company, Meron Takie, said the 100 megawatt project will be completed in 2021 and added that the construction is divided into four phases with the first phase of 33 megawatts finishing in the slated deadline of June 30, 2019. The new power plant in Gumbo will be connected to the old 12.5 megawatts power station in Juba through a high tension power line towers across the River Nile. ISRA is involved in in upstream and downstream, which is the generation, it's doing generation on this end. And then in the distribution, once the Chinese company completes, once the Chinese company hand over the grid to the government, 
ESRA uh, is uh, in partnership with the government or with the Ministry of Energy and Dumps to distribute power to the end user. So the, sell, the sales of the power and then uh, managing that revenue to have consistent power being delivered to the, to the communities and to the citizens of Juba, is, um, ESRA is going to take part of that. Transmission line, everything, everything, the photo energy systems is erecting the engines. It's uh, the EPC company, engineering procurement company. This one we are erecting, we are commissioning, we are uh, at the same time the transmission line also is going to be done by us. We will be connected with the existing power plant, we will be synchronized with them. The general manager of Power China, Wang Chun, said his company has employed more than 500 workers, mostly South Sudanese, and trained them on construction of electric poles, installation of electric wires, and maintenance of power lines and transformers. This, he said, would boost the technology transfer and instill the spirit of self-reliance among South Sudanese in managing their technological and industrial advancements. For the feeder A, we have already finished 95% of the string work for MV. The remaining work for us is to finish LV, that is low voltage nice. For feeder B, because now it is including the area of main street, mini street road. This is a key area which is now still energized. And we are cooperating and uh, discussing with the Ministry of Energy and Dam so that this power can be stopped for two or three months so that we can concentrate our own resources to finish this part. The two projects of 100 megawatts power generation by Isra Company and the construction of more than 520 kilometers extension of small and medium voltage lines of electricity by Power China in Juba are all at the stage of above 90% of completion level. The old wooden and rectangular poles across the city are being replaced with modern locally made high intensity round concrete poles which covers the old electric grid and power lines network of feeder A, feeder B and feeder C as well as new lines across the city. We are actually within the tariff of the region. We are, we, are, we are within the region. I don't want to say that South Sudan is much higher than the other countries. Uh, and also the tariff for the thermal power are known uh, worldwide. You know, uh, the, 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 the prices for the thermal power are not like the prices for the hydropower. And also the hydropower, are not, uh, they are not like the prices for the solar. Each source of the generation has its own uh, cost. Uh, thermal is, is high, but I want to, to tell you that we are within the region. What we are going to sell is much uh, lesser than other neighboring countries, actually. So uh, this is one. The other thing, the continuation of the service itself, for us to continue uh, providing service to our population, the population need to meet the cost. This is really very, very significant, and it is really very important. Uh, the the way how is going actually to cost you or not, it will depend on the consumer behavior. You know, on 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 power. If you have a lot of uh, of, of things that need power, automatically you you will pay. Somebody with the AC in his room. It's not, uh, he will not pay like somebody who has a, a fan uh, in his room. Many people perceive the advent of electricity in Juba as a salvation to the current economic crisis. In a sample of views by concerned citizens in Juba, many of them see the coming of electricity in Juba as a commitment by government to improve social life, reduce security risk, boost investment, commencement of basic development sector and a genuine realization of peace in the country. Yeah, a lot of hardship has been happening, especially on the side of the student, on buying things or you just put on the candle and sometimes can burn your book. But this time we are going to read our book uh, with this electricity we are having. أشوف يعني خلي الدين حاجة لقدام برضو نجيبه بعد الكهرباء ده أكيد حيجي حاجة موية بكرة حيجي 
يعني بكره الزلط حيكون برضه في مكانه يعني الخدمات كلها بتمشي زي ما الناس كلها كانت طموحاتها عايزين الحاجات زي دي الكهرباء اول شيء بيكون يعني سهل للامن وسهل لل... للمواطن ذاته بالنسبه لل... لو في مثلا استثمارات الشركات لو جايه ولا الكهرباء بتلقى شغل كبير شديد It is really very important for me because most of the time we are using a charger for the computers, also for the phones, and at the same time also we are facing the hotness of Juba, so we are missing the AC, the air condition. So for me actually, it is something that very helpful to the community. Well, I don't know if I mean, I just cool al zahir yani fi medin al kwes. لأنه كهرباء ده كان جات هيمسك جزء من الأطفال ما هيكون هيمين في الشارع بيكون قاعدين في بيت يفرش في التلفزيون لأن أنا متأكد 70% في المية عنده تلفزيون في بيوته بدل ما يمشي في نوادي أيضا بيكون بحدر في البيت حس حاليا الناس زادوا الإقبال اللي بتجي تشتري الحاجات كله بيشتري إنه بيقول الكهرباء جاي حس حاليا مجرد ما الكهرباء يشتغل الأول حس إنه فاتحين زادوا مستحدفين الكهرباء as the country celebrates the revitalized peace agreement with hopes of prosperity and peaceful coexistence in the upcoming formation of revitalized transitional government of national unity, which is highly anticipated in May, the Ministry of Energy and Dams also plans to re-energize the momentum of a new era of peace by finalizing plans to switch on the lights before the independence celebration. Is it an overambitious project? Look around you.